For the past decade, I've been a strong advocate for no-code solution because it was the easiest way to build a startup. But today, I step away from no-code because there is something far better, which is the code generated by AI. In this episode, I'm going to cover how I created my own personal website that I wanted to do for a while and I was able to do it in just a couple of hours thanks to my AI body. So let's dive into it. I'm going to show you the entire process. You will see it is crazy. Hi, I'm Amory, founder and CEO at My City of Friends, where founders come to learn how to build their tech startup. And with this Startup Snack series available on both podcasts and YouTube, we want to share the essential to make it easier for you to build your tech startup. And now we have crazy things that are coming thanks to AI. You know, building a startup has always been a huge challenge. And usually the journey was looking like, first, you pitch your concept, you seek for investment, then you secure some funding, often less than what you hope, or sometimes you just get a bit of love money. And basically, you opt for a prototype, which is usually based on no code, or it is a, maybe a V0, or we can also call that an MVP, whatever. You invest a lot of resources, resources in this, usually no code application, or this first small application. And eventually, if something works, you will be able to replace the entire software by a real code. That was basically the old pattern and it was still costing a lot of money. But now everything changed. We have access to AI developers for almost for free. The keys lies in crafting the prompt correctly in order for the AI to develop your app. And that's basically the process we're going to go through. For my experience, you know, I've been waiting for years to redo my personal website. Uh, honestly, I, the, the old one was like seven or eight years old. Um, so I wanted to rebuild things, but I never had the time with the business, you know. And I never thought that I would code my personal website. I would usually go for a Webflow platform or maybe WordPress, even if I'm not a real fan of, of WordPress, but I never thought that I would code it. And in a matter of just weeks, I totally changed my mind and I did it. I code my new website using, of course, real code, a proper framework, which is Next.js. But I also wanted to be able to edit the content of my website without having to touch things or, or maybe to uh, to ask to code or uh, doing, doing anything complex. So what I thought is, okay, I need an interface and the interface that I knew that was great was Notion. So Notion still have some good time uh, in front of, of him. And I used basically Notion as a database. And I asked the AI developer to just connect to my Notion to get the information about my testimonials, about the, the content I want to put on my website, a timeline, etc., etc. I'm going to show you that in a sec. So here is the process that I follow to create my personal website. Of course, I could have done that in a similar amount of time with a no-code application. You are right. But this process would be exactly the same if I would build or develop a very complex application without any limitation. I, we could go for an Airbnb like or a Tinder or whatever application we want to rebuild or whatever SaaS. This is exactly the same process that you can follow and you don't have to have any technical skills. You just need to have basically the same approach that I'm about to show you. Let's dive into it. So where first I started with ChatGPT. So one of my first prompt was this one. The purpose of this chat was to help me create my personal website. I'm not going to share, uh, hide anything. This is the real thing that I ch started just uh, a, a while ago. So I went through that and I chat. Basically, I was using my phone. So I was walking and, and doing the things. And basically, he guided me to structure a personal website, personal brand website. And he recommended me to create this type of uh, pages. So I had a quick chat, basically, Okay, I want to do this. I want to do that. Here is my expertise. Um, I've been a CTO for years, etc., uh, etc. Et and I've been like chatting while I was doing a, a small walk this morning. And that's it, basically. So after a while, after chatting for a while, you know, I asked, and that's something that I want to show you. Yes, here it is. No, I think it's good for me. I think we are ready to wrap up and to prepare what I really want to have uh, and some specifications for the entire website that I can pass to an AI developer. 
And then he started to write down all the specifications, which is great. And I really highly, uh, highly recommend you to go through down that path. So basically, I have here my specifications. He put also some technical uh, features, what type of framework, etc., etc. Now that I um, did this, uh, after what I did is that I asked for a prompt specifications. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what I was uh, I wanted to share. Yes, go ahead. Please turn this into a series of prompt that I can that can be bite-sized prompt, not too big, and basically that can be handled by an AI developer without making too many mistakes. And that's exactly what he did. He created here several prompts, one by one, that I just copy and paste in uh, my uh, windsurf application, which is my favorite one in order to develop AI. And here I just copy and paste basically what was here. So that was the process. Now I'm going to show you on uh, the uh, development environment. How does it look? I have here my application. What I did as a very, very first prompt, I wanted to really reframe and put some context. So I told to uh, windsurf, you are tasked by with building a professional website for Amori KDF and a seasonal fractional CTO. The goal of this website is to showcase Amori expertise, services, etc., etc. Here are the key objectives. Uh, and basically, I've put an overall view of what I wanted to do. Very important. This initial prompt is not a request to start coding because if I would have shared a huge prompt like, like that, he would have uh, taken too much uh, token and basically he would not have uh, performed a, a good job. So I don't want you to start code right now. It was just meant to provide you some context. Did you get what I'm about to build? What we are about to build together? And yes, he said, yes, totally understand. Here is a proper purpose waiting for your instructions. And then that's how I, I first did. First, set up the foundation of the structure. It is exactly copy and paste of all the prompt that I've put, that I had here. Set the foundation of a structure, website, blah, 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 blah. And I went down that path, clicking on, I accept, yes, yes, do it, let, let's do it. Ah, there is an error. He fixed it after, uh, after alone. I just had to uh, click on the button, fix the error. Or sometime if I have an error, what I do, I copy the error and I drop it here and I ask, fix this, please. Or I am on this page, fix this, please. And one after another, uh, basically, he performed the website and I'm going to show you the website. Yeah, you can see here that was an error um, until I had the, st the first things. What is very important is to uh, test things along the way. Don't go and, uh, and copy and paste all your prompt. It won't work. You do the first one. You do the second one. I ask for the home page. And as soon as I uh, ask for the home page, then I uh, ask him to launch the website in order for me to double check. Uh, and once it was, uh, it, it was not working the first time. It was working after like one or two uh, bug fix, but he did it alone. I, I did not check anything. And rapidly, long story short, I have now the website that is here uh, that looks pretty cool. Honestly, I haven't touched any line of code. The only thing I did was to copy and paste my prompt and to copy and paste errors. Uh, and uh, it created as well an amazing about page. Uh, he suggested me to do a, a, a journey. So basically, he guided me to create a table on my Notion. Let me show you my Notion. Yes, he suggested me to uh, to put a timeline where I could put a title, maybe some images, etc. So I geeked a bit out and I was searching for young images of me uh, to share basically my journey. Uh, and I feel like it is really amazing. Uh, I can even can click on the images. Uh, and all the content that are here are basically in uh, in the in the in the in Notion. So here I have basically a new quote, um, like I can put a new quote here. So here it is. I just uh, took a, a quote from the internet. I dropped it here. And basically, if I refresh, boom, I should have another quote that should be uh, displayed. Let's see. Yeah, here we are. Now we have that quote. Amazing. It works perfectly. So now let me share a, a, a little bit of my secret because, you, you know, having a such beautiful design. So he, he was very, very good on the beginning, huh? but I had to do a couple of fixes. So the way I did it is that I 
took some screenshots. Let me show you how I did it. So here are the screenshots that I used to develop this application. Basically, at some point, the bullet points were not well aligned. So I asked him, okay, can you please align this bullet point? Look, here my, my picture is not uh, displayed. Can you please fix it and display this image? Uh, then after I said, okay, I would like to add a picture of me when I was doing some karate, etc. when I was young, uh, take the image from Notion. Basically, he he did not actually did, uh, did what I asked. He put the image on the other side, which I found way better in the end. And uh, then after I asked him to move the uh, the dates on the other side, and uh, yeah, he uh, again, I had to, to explain things exactly the way I wanted, and that's it. That's how it works, and uh, and it's real code. Uh, it's dynamic. It's just crazy. And as you can see, this is just a chat with him. Almost there. Here is how I, how I want it. I drop my images, and uh, he fixed everything. After I uh, wanted to put my podcast, uh, I just copied the 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 the, the code for the from Apple. Uh, Apple podcast and boom he dropped my podcast and I have my podcast basically like I was used to have on uh, any website wow it's just crazy so when I say everything has changed for startups I really mean it no need to raise large amount of capital to build an MVP no need to hire expensive agencies to develop your application all you need is to craft the proper prompt and you can perform easy modifications. Even if you, at some point, you have some developers that helped you or checked what you are doing, you can perform the modifications. Look, all the things that we just did, uh, I could deploy them in one click to uh, to my website. Actually, it's amorikelifi.com. It's, it's coming. You can check it uh, right now. You should have basically this draft uh, that is uh, published. I'm going to improve it in the upcoming days for the content, but it's there. It's It's really so fast. So my takeaway of this episode is that no code is on its way out. It will slowly fade unless they, these platforms really integrate AI capabilities to generate hype app applications like AI code does. So after 10 years promoting no code, I am done. Now uh, it's not relevant anymore at the moment, at least. And definitely, I do recommend you to move forward with AI uh, developers because that's the future. I hope this insight helps you. Give it a try. Test applications like Bolt.new or the one that I've been using, Windsurf. Uh, with a little bit of guidance, you can definitely have the su developers' superpowers without needing needing to write a single line of code. Sorry. And by the way, we are about to launch at my city of friend new a new service, your app coded by AI in a done-for-you model, reviewed and approved by real developers. It's completely innovative. Uh, it's basically what any agency would offer you for 30 to 50K with just a few thousand dollars. So if you are interested, contact us at mycityoffline.co. We are opening the first spots at a very early bird price. So while we are basically setting up the service, the website, etc., the landscape of app development is rapidly changing. You need to embrace this AI generated code uh, and basically go fast and test and, uh, and publish your application and make money and, and build a new business or many business because now we can do it in a matter of days instead of months. I hope you liked this episode uh, and I plan to do even more during the upcoming days. So feel free to ask me any questions, any thoughts that you have on YouTube, on Instagram. Uh, and uh, until then, I wish you a great day. Oh, like and subscribe, of course, uh, on your, our channel to be sure to not miss our upcoming uh, videos. Uh, and until then, I wish you a great day. See you.